Well, um, I guess that is, this is going to be another two-parter, because I still can't put clips together. Um, okay, I, I started drawing an outline for Master of the Ass, and I'm really mad at myself, because I forgot about Waterloo. I started going along, and then I missed the part where they talk about what he did at Waterloo. And I'm mad at myself, because I just went right into Welcome, Miss Sarah, set yourself down, instead of being like, the Waterloo, he picked pockets, the pockets of the English dead, and that sort of thing. And I really like the expression. I do really like the expressions, though. I also gave him a little bowler hat, because I tried to do, like, one of those French military hat thingies, like, with the paintings of Napoleon have, but it just was looking really bad. So I changed it into a bowler hat. So, he's got a little bowler hat now. It's not focusing, so you can't really see. But, I, I okay, I figured I'd make it where, like, background characters don't have eyeballs. So, it's pretty obvious that, like, they're no one in particular. They're just kind of a person. And then they have the actual characters have features that make him stand out. But then, it, like, they keep looking like actual, pe there's people with their eyes closed, you know? And that's probably because I just didn't raise the eyebrows enough. Like, this one's definitely too short, but... You know, whatever. Uh, I do really like these guys. I think the positioning of him is a little weird, but... You know what? Good enough, right? It's, it does... I do kind of like that. I also really like... This frame. Just kind of his expression. Same with this. I, I love this pose. He looks just so proud of himself. It's not focusing, but I like it. That's all you need to know. Come on. Whatever. Okay. Um, okay, why don't we get back to the uh, actual point of this video? Okay. Um, I guess I'll... Why am I gonna title the other one? I'm just gonna say, like, I talk about my drawings for, like, ten minutes, and five of them are, like... Tomodachi life, probably. Except nothing ever actually gets done. Because it's a part two. Or part one. Because when I dropped it, uh, I accidentally pressed the pause button or something. Okay. I She has enough clothes. Just, let's get, get on with it. Who is he proposed to heaven? Yay. Gabrielle, you're gonna be grandma. Yada yada. Get this. Get, keep the train. I don't, I don't know. Train station. Because I mentioned the train, haha. Uh, eat, no, you're you're probably fine. That looks like a great idea to propose to someone in. Um, that looks pretty nice. Or does it? Um, uh. That looks kind of nice on her. Let's do that, yeah. That looks pretty cute. They're not exactly the same shade, but close enough, right? I'm really nervous about popping the question at the right moment. Would you mind helping me out? It always throws me off. You know how shiny that hat is? Because it's like so much more realistic. No problem. Okay, it's time. I'm going to propose. Good for you, Vicky. Today was the best. Gosh, I wish I didn't. I wish I could set my phone down, but I can't. Oh, wow. It's kind of sad to see such a great day come to an end, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is. Hmm. Okay. That's a train. Yes. This is going so much better. See, I told you it's the wardrobe change that that fixed all our problems. Probably. I I should prob not I should stop getting ahead of myself, you know. Don't want to put my foot in my mouth. I probably didn't even use that saying right. I have no idea what that actually means. 
Oh yeah? What is it? What is what hat is that person in the background wearing? Come on. Think about your lovely girlfriend. My love, will you marry me? No. Of course I'll marry you. What a happy day. <laughs> See right there. Oh, it's a mushroom hat. I forgot about that one. I'm like, why what is he wearing? That went so much better. Maybe it was the wardrobe change. Gosh. Be dramatic. Stop giving me exactly what you need. Actually, maybe that is the point. Sure. What happened if I said no? Let's give it a try. Come on. Let their love grow and grow so that Gabrielle may become a grandmother. That's that yeah. I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah, that is literally the exact same statement. You're so excited for our wedding. Yay. Yay! Okay, um... We got Badger Star, uh, oh shoot, Naomi, Frostheart, Broccoli Jaw, uh, Andrew, Gabrielle, uh, <laughs> Worm, um, Henry, Henry and Worm. Yes. Photo. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, it's worm. <laughs> Ooh, France. Good choice. The River Seine. Vicky, you blinked. You fool, you've ruined this for everyone. Strasbourg. Hmm, well, that could have been better. <sighs> These were awful photos. <laughs> <laughs> Got some fancy soap up in here. Yay! Yay! Let's give her a um, bubble blower, because why not, right? Okay. This was an eventful episode for sure. <sighs> Look at them. Oh, aren't they cute together? Can't wait till they have a child and Gabrielle becomes a grandmother. Isn't that nice? Uh, I just got like seven um, notifications. All right, wow. Let's let's do this. Woohoo! Okay, hang on. How is their relationship going? Okay, so he's just having a fight with someone. He's he's not. There's not a problem with Alyssa. Animize. That's not how you say that. Whatever. Okay. Fine. Have some nachos. 
Mm. Oh, another one of the Halloween costumes I wanted to do was, uh, uh, uh Dr. Facidier from The Princess and the Frog. Like, he's cool. Like, he was, he deserved better, but he was still cool. I recently rewatched it, and everything is so fast. Sorry about what happened. Like, Princess and Tiana met and get married, and er, Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen meet and, like, get married in one day. Like, what the heck? That's not how that works. You can't do that. Like, I mean, you know how there's, like, the bridge uh, thing where it's like, oh, you know, if, if you, uh, where it's like, if somebody sees somebody cute, on, like, a Swain bridge, um, cause, like, being on, in a dangerous situation will make your heart rate go up, and they're, like, attached to that, like, heart rate acceleration to that person, and mistake it for, like, attraction, attraction, and think, ooh, that, think that they th like that person? I don't know a ton about it, I just heard it mentioned once when it was, like, here's why the, back when they're, <laughs> the heckin', um, Pokemon XYZ anime was going on, and Serena freaking kissed Ash, and is like, whoa, what the heck? He's, like, literally ten. Calm down, buckaroo. Um, back when that stuff was still going on, I saw, like, a video that was like, see, here's why it's, it's not good, and why she likes him after having met him once when they were, t like, four years old. Because it was like, oh, she attached the feelings of danger because she was lost or something. I don't remember. It, it was uh, pretty interesting. I just, I remember that uh, thing. And I was like, okay, yeah. So, like, maybe that could have happened with um, Tiana and Naveen. Because, like, they were frogs and literally f having to save each other's lives. Like... Second, every two seconds, but um, like, come on, that's uh, even that's a bit far fetched. Like, you're not gonna want to marry someone after like that much time. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe you'll have just a really good like relationship because, like, you know, you're having to depend on someone that much, you're gonna build a relationship pretty fast. But, like, getting married, come on, that's a bit. Uh, extreme. Um, doesn't. I'm so close, but he doesn't like anything that I'm giving him. Come on, dude. Like, there we go. Let's see if he likes that. But Facilier deserved more. He's got a great villain song, and like his motivation. Is freaking metal, dude. But like, <sighs> come on, man. I, <sighs> if you're gonna, like, yeah, I guess that is fair. But like, what the hey? Uh, uh, honestly, is motivation. Opens him up to be some really great sympathetic villain um, character traits, and just the fact that he doesn't get. And if they like played that well, I think that could have been really good. Cause like <sighs> the reason he's trying to make this happen is like I mean spoilers, but came out in like two thousand nine, you know. His reasoning for making all the stuff that happens in the movie happen is, um, so, okay. Hang on, this is gonna be really hard one-handed, but I'm gonna try. Uh, hang on. Okay, so, the reason, okay, so, there's this girl character who's, like, a blonde, so obviously super ditzy, right? And, like, 
This is a thing for another day. But I actually really like her. She's so annoying. And, like, it's a good thing she's not on screen for more than, like, a minute. Because if she was, you'd go insane. <laughs> but she's such a good character. Because, like, later on... Okay, so, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so she likes Naveen, right? And her dad is a super rich, influential guy, right? I don't know. Give him a tie. Uh, <laughs> gosh, this is awful. <laughs> okay, so she likes uh, Naveen because he's a prince and he's handsome and stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna give him a weird hairstyle. He's, he's got, like, this swoop thing, but I don't know how to do it. I'm really bad at, like, swoopy hair. But whatever. God, this looks terrible. <laughs> whatever. Okay, so she likes Naveen, and he's a huge playboy, so he's got, like, five other women who are like, ooh, hi, I like you. Whoa, I, oh gosh, I don't know. I don't, whatever. <laughs> um, so, uh, Facilier sees this and is like, aha, I've got a plan. Um, this is, gosh dang it. Okay, so he sees this and is like, aha, I have a plan. Um, let's draw him a little light bulb. I <laughs> think that's great. Um, so, Prince Naveen has this, like, overweight, huge ear, um, big old chin, like, probably in his 50s or something, uh, assistant, right? That, like, has it super rough, because he's super mistreating him, and... Like, all this slapstick that's, like, actually kind of serves a purpose, which I kind of like, but then other slapstick just really doesn't. Um, so, okay. So we are seeing all this happening. So, he grabs these two, uh, makes him look like him, uh, and then turns this guy into a frog. Like, why he couldn't just, like, I don't know. Put him in, in, like, an eternal, I don't know. Good enough. <laughs> God, it looks like a, a four-legged spider. <sighs> okay, um, so, I, I don't know why he couldn't have just, like, actually captured him or something like i don't know put spirit guards or something but um turns him into a frog um has this guy disguised as um uh naveen try to romance her and she's already head over heels for him so it's going great um and uh, but they do it with this, uh, like, pendant thingy with, uh, the prince's blood in it. Um, and as a result, they can't just get rid of him, so they have, like, keep him in a jar, right? Because, you know, he's a frog, you know? Simple enough. But then, like, for whatever reason, he loosens the jar, and he manages to get out. And then Facilier shows up and is like, you idiot, why would you do that? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, I just, he... Something about, like, the lid being too... I don't, I don't know. Like, if you wanted him to be able to breathe, just, like, poke holes in the top of it. Haven't you ever kept, like, a pet... War, I don't know. Have you never kept a pet in a jar before? Just, like, poke holes in the top and you're good. Um... So... This guy, so then the blood is running out of the pendant, which is like, come on, dude, this is, it's so, it goes by so fast, you know, like, um, so he starts to turn into 
himself again because the pendant's blood is running out. And he's like, ah, come on, man, you let him out. Why would you do that? Ah. And, um. But, like, it's going on fine. Okay, so he goes to his uh, spirit buddies. And here's where his motivation's revealed. Um. I don't know. There we go. Grr. Good enough. <laughs> Looks like one of those profit graphs where it's like, see, this month we earned this much, but then we lost that much. And it's like, ooh, ooh stock market. <laughs> oh, gosh. Am I tired? I must. I feel like I'm tired because this is really funny. And if, if it shouldn't be. So he's like, okay, spirit guys, if you help me do this, then... Uh, I will get rid of this guy, Kachow, and then I'll have control of the city, and you can have all the wayward souls you would ever want. And, um, he's having to pay back his debt. And it's really not specific, but, like, it's pretty obvious. He sold his soul for some reason or another, and now he's having to pay it back through all these dastardly means. Um... And I was kind of thinking, wouldn't it be cool if they really played into that? Because he has, with that, like, he has the potential to be a really sympathetic villain. Like, oh, maybe when he was a young and stupid kid, like, his mom was dying or something, and he was like, eh, voodoo spirits help, and he sold his soul to save his mom. But, like, they did some shenaniganery. And, or maybe they didn't, and he's just honestly, like... <sighs> I don't know. They did, like, some shenaniganery, and they're like, okay, but, like, you only have a mo another month to live yourself, and he's like, okay, well, maybe if I just, like, repay the debt, then I'm good, and they're like, yeah, okay, fine. I, I don't know. They could work on that, but he has this potential to be a really good sympathetic villain, but instead of, like, playing into that, they just kind of keep on the generic Disney villain for e good evil for evil's sake, which, like, can be done well, but when you, like, drop hints of such, like, a sympathetic backstory, it kind of falls apart, you know? Like, why is he being so mean and stuff? And, like, I feel like the fact that he doesn't have a happy ending just in itself could be so good. Because, like, He's this tragic character, like, his backstory, you know, he did it to save somebody. God, he could he could have been, like, Megara from Hercules, where she, like, sold her soul to save her boyfriend, but then he left her, you know? Um, and so now she's having to work for the devil. Only they could, like, turn it into kind of good, where it kind of did work out. So he's like, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna try and act out against you, but, like... Can, can I still not lose my soul forever, please? Um, that sort of thing. So that could make the fact that he doesn't get a happy ending even better, I guess. Because, in case you didn't know, the end of the movie, he gets his butt dragged into hell. And, like, it's not specific. But he is for sure dead. Like, where else could he have gone? They're voodoo spirits. He went straight to hell. That is absolutely what happened, and you can't convince me otherwise. Like, it's tear- like, literally dragged. He's like, no, no, guys, it's okay, haha, -ha, see, you know, I, I'm really close to paying off the debt, I, it's, it's all good. But they're like, haha, -ha, friends on the other side, ha ha, and he's like, they drag him, they grab him, and he's like trying to grip onto the dirt, and it's so metal. Oh, I love it. And that could make that so much more tragic, that he didn't get a happy ending. If they just played up that sympathetic villain, ah, oh, it could have been so much better. Plus, it's just such a fast-paced movie. Like, they're in danger of their life one second. And then the next second, we're seeing them have a romantic dinner as frogs. And it's like, that's... What? I'm like... They're pretty good. 
at making it all make sense. Except for the fact they're like freaking cooking as frogs. They're making gumbo with a pumpkin as frogs. She just like grabs some mushrooms and is like, here, chop them up with this really, str really well shaped rock that's like sharp enough to be a knife. And chop things up super fast, but also, like, a frog size, obviously. And it's like... They're, like, trying to bridge the gap between frog and human. And it's not really... Eh. Oh, but, like, I actually love Raymond so much... When I just, I remember him being, like, this stupid character. But, like, re-watching the movie, I love him so much. He just wanted to be with Evangeline. Oh my gosh. And he, they don't... I was worried that they were gonna have him be, like, alright, because it's like, oh, can't have characters die. But he... They let him die. And it's so sweet, because then he's, like, up in the sky with the vent. <laughs> oh, I love Raymond. He's such a nice character. Like, he's that old guy that's, like, everybody loves. And he kind of makes some weird jokes, but, you know, you love him anyway. And then, like... Eventually he dies and, like, everybody gathers together and... He's like, Purdy! Ah! Uh -huh. I'm sad now. Ah, uh, I've been talking about Princess and the Frog for, like, ten minutes. I should stop now. Oh my gosh. The point I was gonna make was that I, like, designed a, a, a thing for him... But the only thing that changed is that I just gave him a. I just did it. I just did a skirt instead of pants, and it, it's not much different. I just kind of drew it on a girl. Like literally, that's the only thing that changed. It's a skirt instead of pants. I mean, I also gave him not a midriff because, like, I I would not be comfortable wearing a midriff, even though the actual character does have a midriff showing. But, um, yeah, that was the point I was trying to make. And then I started talking about the actual movie and like, I love the movie, but it's so fast paced. Like, <sighs> turn it into a legit musical, like a three hour long something instead of an hour and a half. And that will be good. Like, it'll... <clears throat> I've... Like, you could have a short-ish thing with really good pacing. I've seen it happen. But, like... Princess and the Frog was not that. I don't know. It feels weird. All I'm saying is their relationship is gonna be a bit odd because like they fell in love in one day that's not gonna last you, you we already know that well actually they might not have gotten married in one day but he was ready to propose in one day and it's like calm down dude like like i it could have been really good if they just like stretch it out a little more like maybe what make sure the deadline wasn't that day for their supposed goal and be like okay so you know um if we like act like the journey back to whoever's house the journey to uh the like weird old voodoo lady and then the journey back to New Orleans, uh, and what what's her face? I don't remember anybody's name. 
Um, maybe that was like a week, so they had enough time to start kind of kindling good relationships, especially since they're having to depend uh, to like trust each other with their lives, you know, like that could, that has the chance. So that kind of makes sense for them to start get, having a good relationship when in the beginning they literally hated each other. Um, you know, that gives them a chance to start regener generating a good relationship. And then, like, I don't know. Then you could have, like, maybe a couple days time where they're like, what are we going to do? Whatever. I I'm just happy to be with you, frog or not. Then they have the whole marriage scene. Um, maybe, like, maybe that's when the proposal, proposal happens. When it's like, you know what, I, I, I we're going to have to stay the rest of our lives as a frog, but I want to spend the rest of my frog life with you, and it's going to be all sweet, right? Um, they could also have some in there, like, being all sad that Raymond's gone, because they, like, he dies, and, like, literally no one, or nothing happens with him after that. It's just like, Give Raymond the respect he deserves, okay? Like, I, it was two minutes after that, but, like, calm down. It's, oh, boy. Um, like, at least mention him. Like, give him the respect he deserves. Um, but, yeah, you have, like... A couple days, they get married, and then they do the marriage and then kiss and it's like oh i see we're back humans oh yeah because like marrying me you become a princess therefore kissing a princess we're human right there we go and then you live happily happily ever after and you get your restaurant and all that jazz you know like that could have been so much better if they just dragged it out a little more because that takes place in like a day and it's like calm down guys Going a little strong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I am going to go now because I've been talking about Princess and the Frog for like 15 minutes. And that wasn't even the point of this video. But there you go. Um, <laughs> bye, I guess. <laughs>